What up, Wink Gang, man? It's your boy, Wink TV. Today, I'm coming back at y'all with another video, man. And as y'all can tell from the title, today we're going to be talking about how to get promoted while in basic training. And it's pretty easy. It's not that hard. Just follow these steps and you will get promoted. Stay tuned. All right, as y'all can see, I'm in my room right now before class, you know. Me and my roommate, Bored. Hey, Bored. Say what up to YouTube. What? Say what up to YouTube. No. You don't like me that much, but that's okay. But um, we're going to get right into the video. So it's pretty easy how to get promoted while in basic training. You just got to follow these steps. It's really not hard. I don't think they put much thought into who gets promoted. But if you follow these steps, your chances will be increased. I'm not saying you will get promoted. I'm not saying you won't. But these will increase your chances on getting promoted while in basic training. And you want to get promoted while in basic training. Because you don't want to be a fucking E1 for six months like I am. So I'm still E1. I rank up this month and... 20 days now, so I rank up in 20 days to E2. So we're gonna get right to the video. So, um, step one to rank up in basic training is you can be you have to be good in PT. You can't be failing PT, you can't be failing PT doing bad on PT tests. Do pretty good on PT. You ain't gotta be a 300 because the people that got promoted in my cycle they weren't 300s. So just make sure you're like close, like around a 270, 280, even 290. Like, just make sure you got good PT. And always be doing, like, trying your hardest at PT. Don't just be at PT, like, going through the motions. Like, go hard during morning PT. And um, that'll help your chances of being promoted. Another um, good option to help get promoted is um, leadership. If you get offered the chance to do leadership, do it. Like, squad leaders, PGs. If you get the option to do that, do it and do a good job at it. Take it seriously. And you'll probably get a higher chance of getting promoted. All the people that got promoted in my cycle, they were... Um, leadership at one point in time. So, leadership helps you get promoted. Good PT helps you get promoted. And that will help you in the long run. And um, always be doing the right thing. Like me, I used to talk in formations at basic training. I was still transitioning from the civilian world to the military world. So, I used to talk in formations with me and my dude Cohen. We used to be playing around in formations. Like, that's what we did. We was teenagers at basic training. We did. I mean, we were still learning the discipline aspect of the military, so we used to be talking all the time. That's probably why I didn't get promoted. I didn't really care. I mean, I'll get promoted. I mean, I'll rank up eventually. So, yeah, but um, anyway, just always be doing the right thing. Even though the drill sergeants aren't looking at you right then and now, they'll hear about it. So, like, just stay quiet in formation, do the right thing all the time, and they'll hear about it. But if you're always talking and stuff, your other battle boys are probably telling you and tell the drill sergeants that you're being a hassle, talking a lot, never doing the right thing never clean it. So, even though they're not watching at that point in time, still do the right thing, and that would increase your chances of getting promoted. And um, clean, clean the barracks. Don't be one of those lazy dudes that never want to clean the barracks because nobody likes that dude. Because, like, they just sit around while everybody else cleaning. Like, 60 people in the bay, and I understand 60 people can't clean at one time. It's almost impossible. It's not enough supplies and tools. So, let's make sure when you do get the chance to clean, you clean because nobody likes that lazy dude that sits around all day and wants everybody else clean, and then they're the ones helping dirty it up. So make sure y'all cleaning, and everybody else is clean and stuff like that. Another thing you can do while they're basically training to rank up is um, whenever they ask um, people for details, make sure you volunteer for details because they'll see your face, see that you're willing to volunteer to do stuff, even if it's not fun. But they might ask you the details to go get child and like that's not really the best thing to do while you're in basic training because it's taking away from your free time or whatever you're doing so <clears throat> they'll like remember your face remember your name and when it comes time for promotion they'll remember that you volunteer for details and all that stuff like that so make sure you are volunteer for details good pt always doing the right thing information no talking in progress no talking at attention no talking at, at ease so just make sure you're doing the right thing and that'll increase your chances of getting promoted and always be in uniform. That's the number one thing. Being on time and being in uniform is the number one thing. Always being in the right uniform and being on time is everything about the military. Like if you are on time and in the right uniform, you'll promote fast in the military. So make sure you're always on time and um, in the right uniform. And good PT, details, do details, and take up leadership positions because leadership gets a good amount of cookies, goodie points, whatever you want to call it. They love leadership people. They promote it in there, all the leadership people, even though they didn't even do that good of a job or do that much. So make sure y'all get leadership positions and y'all be straight. But anyways, like, 
that's pretty much it because there's really not that much that goes into it because it's just basic training, not much you can do. So just make sure you got good PT, doing the right thing at all times. Volunteer for details. If you get the chance for leadership, do it. And clean. Don't wash your battle buddies. Um, clean all the time while you're just sitting in your bunk. And um, just be, don't be that guy that everybody in the platoon don't like because you're always doing the wrong thing. Don't get your platoon smoked. I mean, you're going to get them smoked because you're going to mess up because you're still transitioning from the civilian world. So don't be doing the wrong thing all the time, making your platoon have a harder day. Just be quiet, march, sound off informations when they call cadence. Yeah, just sound off so the drill sergeants know you're motivated and they'll promote you because they're going to see that you're a motivated soldier. But anyways, that's all I got for y'all today. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. I kind of rushed this video because I got school in like an hour. I'm going to get a quick nap in. That's why I sound like less energetic and stuff. I'm still tired from school from yesterday. But anyways, that's all I got for y'all. So stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. When I get out of AIT, my video is going to be way better because I'm going to South Korea. If y'all don't know, I am going to South Korea. So my videos will be way better. My vlogs will be coming back. But right now, AIT is all I can do. is help y'all out. So stay tuned for more videos. And I'm out.